Loma Montana Beta Test 3.0 Map Review. I'm Socks Way Up, thanks to No Creek Farm. We have a beautiful map to check out. I did a sneak peek of it. It's gorgeous. Welcome to a brand new map by No Creek Farms. We are in Loma, Montana. I wish this map came out when we decided to move in Whiskey RP. This would have been perfect. What I like so far about it is these uh, real life things that they have on the map that he's added, No Creek Farms has added. We also have this uh, nice little sign here. Stay on the trail, preserve the natural habitat. Or native vegetation, either way. But you know, just taking a nice little hike to start out. Some sightseeing we can do here. It's a real life place. 100% the same terrain, same road layouts. Pretty sweet map. Got these little signs here, like, you know, a nature walk. Pretty sweet. Let's see if we can find some more. Oh, nice bench. Little scenic area. They want us to stay on the trail. But enough hiking. Let's check out the actual map. But you can look at the PDA here. It, it's pretty sweet looking. Let's um, see what view would be better here. Let's go into this one. You can see all the different plots of land that could be bought. It looks like the river is already owned by you, as well as 25, 28, 27 here. And we'll check out, take a look at those later on. But it just shows you all the different plots of land and the prices that they could be bought at. This one, $400,000 on number 14 there. What is number one? I don't know. Prices seem to be pretty decent. Ignite is a nice variety. because so we got 26,000 here. We got 100,000 on one of them, 138,000. Over here, we got this big plot for almost, you know, three quarters of a million. Plot two over here, 32,000. So there's a good variety of different uh, prices, which is always nice. And here's the vehicle shop, the little John Deere shop here. And before I get too far into it, No Creeks Farm did want us to mention his Discord and Facebook page. That'll be in the description. And if you want to see this map fully finished and out of beta, please, please support him on Patreon. And let's see, is there a way to open this? Open the gate, you click on it. Nice, but we have a cool John Deere dealership here. Looks like a gate that opens and some models to make it look like the dealership has a good amount of equipment already out to sell. Perfect for role playing here. We have to do this a lot ourselves on the role playing servers that we play on. So it's real nice to see the map creators actually give us a little bit of a help there. It gives us a jump start on setting things up. But yeah, this is sweet. Some tr a truck back here, a little bobcat, skid steer. Beautiful. All right, let's go to the starter farm area. Some of the equipment that comes with it. As we're stuck on a fence. There we go. Nice wind rower there. Baler, tatter, cultivator. We've got our planter, grain cart. Nice, nice. Massey Ferguson combine and a Massey Ferguson tractor. Pretty good starter. Really good starter set if you're gonna do a lot of grass work for sure, but also baling. Doing some wheat and getting some straw as well. Would be pretty nice with that. I think it's time, let's see, let's buy a truck. What do we have here in this mod pack? Oh, let's go with the Mustang. We'll just buy that. And we do have the gate open, so that'll be good. Yeah, this car goes 120. This is not part of the map, but I wanted to use it because I can. So we'll take a right out of the dealership. And to the left here, we have another little sign. All this realism here. Maria's River. Very nice. And a little railroad. And then we have a little memorial here. The descendants of the Frank of Franklin Fra Friend. Okay. Pretty sweet. Friend is their last name, it looks like. And down here we have, what do we have? Helena, hold up. Look at these vehicles that are just driving around. That is a nice truck. Oh man, I'm impressed with this. There's some stuff we'll get into later about the foliage and how you can change that. And I'll link a video on showing you how to do it. But you can control this style of foli foliage. That's always a hard word for me to say. Based on what season it is and what you can like mix and match if you really want to. But yeah, okay, so it looks like those buildings were back here. So it's like a little co-op area, apparently. Get some fuel there. Very nice. And to be clear and honest, I do not watch very many map review videos. Actually, I don't watch any of them. But I'm gonna go over the features that I like about maps and 
maybe you'll be similar to me. But this is insane. This is a real place in real life. About 80 people live in this town of Loma, Montana, and we almost died. We've got a nice overpass over the railroad here and the river. Gosh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it would have been perfect for Whiskey RP. But we're cruising down here to our farm to the left. And we're getting closer to town as well. So that is one of our fields and the equipment there. No sheds for them. I guess there's this one little shed here. But we get pretty sweet in here. All right, so let's hop out and take a look at this place. Now, this is hilarious to me. And I'll explain why. Paz Loma Mart. Everything you need and more. Across the street, we have Ma's Loma Cafe. Now, these are real life places. Loma is also home to a small cafe, Ma's, and a convenience store, Paz. There's also a post office and a museum here. So there's the museum. Don't see post office. We might find that later. But the reason why I find this hilarious is my daughter has called my parents, her grandparents, Ma and Pa, since she could barely talk. So that was very cool to me that this is a real place. We got gas lodging here. This is sweet. These models are realistic. They're exact to the real life models. And I'm impressed. I am impressed. And more things to me that are important is the town too. And since this is based off a real town, this is gonna be awesome. Look at these trees. It looks like it's been established and been here for years as it has. Some chairs on the porch. The, the, the attention to detail. And this is what's missing with a lot of people in life these days is just detail. Detail is important. This feels like a real place. Here's the little post office. Look at how cute. That's sweet. The fences around the, the houses too. The picket fences, the American flags, the stones in the ground. Let's, let's, let's look at this texture. Yeah, that's that's some good work right there. But looking at the, the map view on the left here, make that a little bigger, it is from Google Maps. You can see how accurate it is. The little road that we just turned on. Like a little alleys too, probably, I'm guessing. The swing sets driveways the trash cans are out as well again attention to detail you can see most people just drive down the middle of this road because it's a residential so they don't mind uh, risking their lives when they're going 25 miles an hour see some cars fly by but the models yeah the vehicle models are awesome all right so that's the town the other thing I wanted to kind of point out before we take a look at some of these fields and some farms around the map is the railroad. The real model buildings on this railroad here, they are fantastic. And I would encourage you to check out Loma, Montana on Google Earth or somewhere like that just to see this stuff and how accurate it is. It's pretty sweet. Oh, here's the road we're supposed to be on the whole time. But yeah, these these silos or these mills here are 100% accurate to the buildings in real life that have been here since, gosh, let me look at it, 1950s or 1920s. They were built between 1915 and 1920. The grain silos here, it is so perfect. You can drop off your grain there and then you can put it on the train and sell it. And then we have the General Mills one up here. Oh, I didn't know where he was going. He almost died. Yeah, this would be a good example of cruising on up to it, emptying your grain. And you can see it's right there on the train track, so the train could come by and, un and load it up and take it to, I don't know, Missouri, I do Iowa. But I think that's enough driving around. Let's go ahead and activate flight mode and a little bit of speed. Let's get up in the air and take a look at this place. Let's go to the town first. Give you a nice aerial view of it. Little main road that, you know, highway leads into town here. You got mom and pa, mom and pa's right there. Some fields this direction. The rivers as they connect and cross. 
which is over yonder. So this one just leads in, has a little cut out there, splits here, makes a little island. And then I believe, oh, we were almost to it. This sign here at the beginning, we didn't show it. But here it is. Decision point. I'll let you pause it and read this if you want to. It's about Lewis and Clark's amazing adventure across the United States. Way, way, way back in the day, 1805. That's decision point there. One of the coolest features of this map that I've seen so far is this feed lot here. I'll link in the description a video to see exactly how this functions and the unique features that No Creek has put into this. And it is insanely cool. And I cannot wait to take advantage of this in the series that I'm planning to start here very, very soon. We're going to have this full of cattle. Absolutely. We got some nice sheds here as well. Little building, a way station. And this back here is not functional, but it is for looks. And again, to me, details matter. We got what I believe is four silo bunkers. They're split in the middle here and back to back. So you, if you own this land, you can have plenty of silage there. Some nice bins there as well. And a little more storage there. And for letting you know here, this is North Montana feeders. And it looks like this field that we're at right now across from it is field number seven or farmland number 40. And the farmland number 13. The land that the feedlot is on is number 42 and it costs $385,000 to purchase. And the, the terrain changes in Loma are pretty sweet because now you can just fly up here. You see down there is where we just were and we have another farm here, but the elevation change is just amazing. So say this is your house and you get to just kind of wander out here to this cliff and just look at that view. Some realistic real life views that I think are missing in a lot of maps. And then this way, fields for days. This is a nice, this is a nice farm right here. A couple big sheds, three sheds here, a lot of bins. And these I believe will have like seed and fertilizer potentially stored in them. Some anhydrous here, is that what this is for? No smoking, it's propane. And nice, does that have, I don't know, we might have to buy that land to learn about it. But that one is right here in plot 33, $771,000. Yeah, $771,000. So, so far we're pretty much in the center of the map as we look at this view so you can kind of get an idea where the fields are as we fly around. It looks like there's another road here leading up this mountain to another farm. Let's take a look at that. Looks like it is on fields four. Like ideally for this one, you'd own fields four, three, four, five, and six. And some of these buildings look a little familiar to me. Very nice. Nice house here at the entrance. Nice bin sites, plenty of storage. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then over here, there's got some bins as well. Let's get the map pulled up again so we don't get lost. But we're at the east end of it. Let's go ahead and head as far north as we can here. And then we'll head south as well. Some more fields out here. And the edge of the map here is actual terrain as well from real life in Montana. Another field there. I think that does clip us to the end of the map. Let's follow the river, but let's go ahead and head south now and see if there's anything of interest to look at. A huge terrain drop. Look at this hill. Look at the side of that hill. Just the river carved into it. But below us we have, what is this, a grain mill? A granary? Looks like somewhere where you could sell grain, potentially. Let's look at the map. It is. All right. So now let's head directly west, which would be this way. Looks like a lot of grassland here that you could purchase for $188,000, and you get everything that you see that looks like grass. That's pretty cool. That's a nice, like... You almost have this mini wilderness 
start from nothing area here that you could do right up on the river. Pretty nice. But there's the feedery again. Uh, right here, what do we have? Is this located on the map? It does not show anything on the map, but let's see. There might be a sign here. Oh, look at that. Wood bottom. Some beautiful deer. Oh, this is a little picnic area, a little camping. Oh, fishing hole, but you can drop your boat off into the lake right, or the river right there. Someone's got an RV here right now. Oh, very nice. The things you get with realistic, real cities and real little places. It just adds a lot to it. All right, so we've been here. So now let's head all the way north again. So there's the dealership. We've been there. And the co-op, what I'm calling. And right here we have what looks like a little something. A little something. Look at, oh, this entrance is gorgeous. It's like naturally over time, people have driven both directions. This area has been preserved just out of nature. This looks like the animal dealer. Where are we at? Yep, animal dealer here. So we head in. Here's our farm and all that land. That won't be the farm we use. I still haven't decided that yet, but it's not going to be that location. But yeah, just the cool town surrounded by some fields. And let's head a little bit more this way. Just love the fact that there's these mountains and people have settled on top of the mountains and down below there's the town. Loma seems like a pretty sweet little town. 80 people. Population is tiny. Another little farm here. This is cool. Look at this road, this entrance. Let's go to it. We'll simulate, you know, flying in here. Yeah, just a beautiful little road leading into a property here with a cattle guard. Yup, nice. Some more bins, more storage as well. More storage with an open air on the side. That's nice. Got some fences here. It looks like cattle go this direction. Here's where they eat. Man, oh, this, this is sweet. I do think there were some issues mentioned about this not being finished, and there's some glitches with the way the cattle walk around in this area that is being worked on. But again, this is beta. All can get improved and will get impro improved with your help and Patreon and supporting No Creek Farm. That's pretty good there. Oh, and then there's a house down there. So this is the farmyard. And then is this, I would assume this is their house as well. Nice trees outlining their property to give them a little bit of privacy. But then a gorgeous view in the backyard. Look at the just little, the hills in this yard. The realism. This is insane. And I'm not just building this up. I am super stoked to play on this map. Look at that view. Views for days on this map. Wide open. Man, when this stuff's just growing with crops, it's going to look sweet. All right, let's see if there's anywhere else we haven't really... We'll go across here and then back down. And then that should pretty much cover everything. Lots of lime this time of year, apparently, in Montana. Oh, yeah, we've been over here. Yeah, I think we covered it all. Let's uh, head back to our farm. Yeah, the fol foli foliage looks great. The trees look amazing. The attention to detail, like I've said probably 20 times, is just lovely. It's amazing. Just this road alone. Just well done, man. Well done. I'm looking forward to playing on this. Hope you guys come along with the ride. We're going to do a SWU Farm Rescue series on here. A little mini series. We'll see how it goes. But this also looks like some open land for some cattle. And I think I would spend a good amount of time hiking on this map. I mean, if I was doing a roleplay series, for sure. Yeah, I hope I didn't miss anything big, but hit up his Patreon. Get access to this map by supporting him once it's available to everyone. And once it is done, done. Yeah, so if you like, if you like realistic maps and you like real realism in your farming games this is a map to check out beautiful beautiful loma let's go ahead the last thing i do i'm not going to do the terrain change or the foliage change but i do want to see the trees so we're going to make it winter real quick or we'll make it we'll make it fall first pretty nice again there is a link in the description that will show you how to change the foliage foliage which is such a hard word for me to say uh, so that all of this looks a little bit better. You get less of the screen. These will change colors and it'll all blend together nice. But you can also customize it and say, you know what? In the winter, I want summer or I want spring foliage. I want this. 
I want to have like an episode in February or March where the snow's gone and the trees haven't quite got their leaves back yet, but the bushes and the grass are starting to turn green before the leaves come back. So you can control it that way to make the, the look and feel of the map exactly how you want it. A lot of cool features. Hope you guys check this out and enjoy it. I'll catch you on the next video. I'm Socks Way